guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Titans, issue 11. Before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno, episode 192, and that show will review all the comics I read this week in one show. The exclusive comics will be in the description below, and of course, the episode will be annotated by Friday, so go check that out. But let's start talking about Titans, issue 11. So Titans, this is the first issue for the very anticipated The Lazarus Contract. Uh, I was very uh, looking forward to this book. I am reading Titans currently, I'm reading Deathstroke currently, and I recently just dropped Teen Titans. So for this arc, I will of course be picking up Teen Titans. Maybe I'll continue to pick it up after the arc if it really surprises me. But let's get into the story. Uh, really cool cover here, we have Deathstroke, uh, Nightwing, it's a connected cover. So we have Nightwing, Donna, Damien, and Beast Boy, and then next week we're going to have another connection to that. So if you want to get the regular covers, it's all going to connect to make one big picture. Um, or if you get the variants, then it won't connect to anything. But let's start talking about the interior artwork, which is uh, Brian, uh, I think it's actually, yeah, Brian Booth, who does the artwork, and if you've uh, been used to his kind of stylized artwork, then you're used to his style here. Overall, I like it. Um, it's not particularly my favorite style of artwork, um, his work, but uh, I've gotten used to it for Titans, and I think it fits this title more than uh, previous projects he's worked on. Uh, but then sometimes uh, when you're with Wally, there's a little bit too much uh, lightning going on, and it looked a little chaotic. But other than that, you get used to the stylization of his artwork. But let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue, uh, we get to see a little background on this version of Deathstroke. So we see how Grant died uh, with the Teen Titans. Uh, previously, or the Titans previously, uh, with, you know, obviously Dick Grayson, Wally, the, the current Titans when they were Teen Titans. You see how Grant died, and Deathstroke, uh, really hates the Teen Titans because of it, and he kidnaps Wally in this, uh, in this issue, and forces him to say, hey, I want to go back in time to, to resurrect Grant, please. My family's falling apart. Uh, Rose is in the hospital, and that's because of Jericho putting everyone in the hospital, so please bring them back. And so he wants to make a, a contract with Wally. Wally's like, why would I do that? And then we see the new 52 Wally uh, being captured, and this is the... I, I don't know if Wally... Yeah, this Wally's in the Teen Titans. Uh, so... That's the end of the issue. Uh, first of all, they didn't even know e each other existed, so they are now finally meeting uh, face to face. Saying, I'm Wally. No, I'm Wally. So we'll see how that goes. Um, overall, I thought it was an okay first issue. Again, the artwork was okay. And then it's pretty much a setup. And uh, if you haven't read Deathstroke, I don't, I think you're you're not going to get as much out of this. So I've been reading Deathstroke since the, since the beginning, so I know the whole story with Rose and Jericho and his whole family drama, which I've actually really been enjoying, but I think you will get a better gist of the story if you've read a few issues of Deathstroke and kind of gone in what's been going on with his family dynamic. Uh, so I do recommend that. And you want the fullest of the story. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it was okay. It didn't wow me, though. Uh, you know, it, again, focusing on Wally, and I, I love Wally. He's a great character, but this is the Teen Titans, and every single time, they're always focusing on Wally again. And I understand it's DC Rebirth, and he's a big part of that, but there's other characters on the team I want to see a spotlight with. So I was a little disappointed that, once again, it's Wally in the center of it all, and, and all the other characters are just very secondary in a team book. This is not a Wally West book once again. So Titans issue 11 gets three stars. Not a bad start, but at the same time there wasn't really a wow factor for me with this e uh, with this issue. Even the ending, I'm like, all right, the two Wallys meet. That's cool. I think we all expected that with the crossover. Uh, so we'll see where the issue goes with uh, Teen Titans next week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also description below there are links to my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter, and don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.